So in this video, we're going to show you how to merge CDK Lightspeed um, Evo repair orders with appointments you already have. So we're just going to go ahead and click 1-7, and we're going to click Clark Griswold as a technician. We're going to make the appointment for. We're going to select me as a service writer. We're just going to type in Smith. And I know there's one in there for Ryan Smith. And we're going to retrieve, make a model from SMP for motorcycles, Honda. 2016 CB 500 service schedule and really just what we're trying to show here is how the records get merged and click send a Z plan and here it is so here we're just making a, a rough appointment for for the customer right and we're gonna click submit okay so if you notice uh, a couple of things came up right we, we got this little checkbox up here and we got an 8,000 mile service for Ryan Smith on the calendar on a day. And I'm gonna go ahead and click this little box here. And we're gonna see customer Ryan Smith has 6.8 hours. So you just, pretend you just wrote up a repair order and the customer Ryan Smith just showed up and he showed up with a different motorcycle and he showed up even with something completely different. And you wanna merge it with the ZID appointment. You just select the appointment, click merge. Now, when you click schedule, you can choose to leave it on the schedule at the scheduled date and time. If you click scheduled right here, it will leave it on the schedule on the date and time and will add all the information from the repair order onto the schedule and block out that time. If you click do not schedule or uncheck it here to where it's gray, it will just merge the two records and put it back in the new ROs waiting to schedule. Okay, so to remove the appointment from the schedule, and stick it right back over there. Also, if you click no match, it'll just do nothing and send you about your way. So we're just gonna click schedule and we're gonna click apply and we're gonna click close. And there you go. It is winterization right there at 3.4. So if you notice, we had the appointment for nine o'clock for a completely different vehicle um, and a completely different job than what the RO was when it actually showed up. So whether the vehicle is the same or not, as long as the customer is the same, it will ask you if you want to merge the records. So it basically goes off the customer's name. If the customer's name is in Z plan with an appointment, when the RO gets written up, it will ask you based on the customer's name if you want to merge those two records. And, and that's how you do it. And then you can just move it around just like in subsequent videos and work it through the process.